Margot Lane. And I'm Bob Spicer. And this is your Lake of the Ozarks news update brought to you by Lake TV and LakeExpo.com and sponsored by YC Power Sports. Today we're going to talk about a state representative says changes to vacation rental laws are coming. A new vaccination your child might need before school starts this fall. More DWI enforcement this month as two are killed in a car wreck in Eldon. A local restaurant gets worldwide attention. And Luby's Plaza changes hands plus Lake TV covers last week's Festival of Speed. We'll get to all that after we look at what's going on at the lake this weekend. The Lake Ozark Police Department is holding a Youth Kids Academy this Thursday and Friday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. The event is open to kids between ages 10 and 15 and it gives them the chance to do many of the things police officers do every day. That means working at a mock crime scene, building searches, arrests, traffic stops, fingerprinting, and a few surprises. They'll also learn about internet safety, firearm safety, bullying, drugs, and alcohol. There's a $25 registration fee. Call the Lake Ozark Police Department to find out about space and details. The Missouri State Highway Patrol is hosting serial number verification stations around the lake this summer. Members of the patrol's motor vehicle inspection unit will be available this Friday from 9 to 10 a.m. at Public Beach Number 2. You can bring your watercraft on a trailer or come by water. The ninth annual Summer Night Glow 5K Run Walk is this Friday. Festivities start at 6.15 in the evening at the Campton High School, but the race won't start until 8. This is a fundraiser to support the Step Ahead program, which helps children with special needs and developmental delays learn important life skills. Stations are set up along the race route to encourage everyone to keep glow going with glow in the dark themes. And of course, you're encouraged to dress in as much neon and glow in the dark as you can help to find light up the night. You can follow and join the event on Facebook. Hot Summer Nights is Friday night again on Bagnell Dam Strip at Lake Ozark. Fun starts 6 p.m. Runs or rain or shine till 11. The theme this week is rag tops and tee tops. All makes and models of cars and trucks and motorcycles are welcome. Come out Friday night and cruise the strip. Saturday, you can check out the Gym Blossoms playing at the Ozark Amphitheater in Camdenton. Doors open at 6.30 and music starts at 8. The Gym Blossoms are well known for their hits, Hey Jealousy and Follow You Down. Tickets start at $20. Check out OzarkAmp.com for ticket info and more details on upcoming concerts. Sunday, it's time for the Lake West Chamber of Commerce Charity Golf Tournament at Rolling Hills Country Club. Lunch starts at 11.30. Shotgun start at 1 p.m. This will be a fun four-person scramble. Everybody's encouraged to come out to raise some money for a good cause. Well, that's just some of what's happening at the lake this weekend. Go to lakeexpo.com for a complete list of events. Coming up, Lake TV goes to the Festival of Speed last week. This week's Bob's No Wake Zone. Some changes at Luby's Plaza. How locals can get involved in state policy making and a local restaurant scores big on the World Wide Web. All that coming up after a word from YC Power Sports. On the road, on the trail, or on the water, if you're looking for heart-pounding performance and fun, head for YC Power Sports in Osage Beach. The biggest and best brand names in the field, along with incredible selection and unrivaled service. Make this year at the lake the best it can be. With a visit to our showroom in Osage Beach, and coming soon, our new relocated showroom in Columbia. Take a look at ycpowersports.com, too. Summer fun is just waiting for you at YC Power Sports in Osage Beach and Columbia. What's been happening at the lake? Well, here's a look at some of the major stories from last week. Motorcycles, boats, fast cars, beautiful cars, hot cars, classic cars. They're all here. Festival of Speed. How did yes. you put all this together? Well, it's our first year, so it, right. was, it was a challenge, but let me tell you, we had amazing support with the whole community. We had so many sponsors, uh, so many so many vendors, local vendors, uh, a lot of the vendors up and down the parkway here are from the parkway, mm -hmm. uh, which was the main goal, uh, and that's to, to bring people over here to show them what we have over here as far as services and, and products for people. Uh, there's a lot of diversity over here, and uh, so yeah, we have, we have a great turnout as you see. We have a lot of really cool stuff, and we're hoping to do this again next year. We got it all put together and done and, and opened at 4 o'clock. Yeah, which, now that you have the first year's done you're under your belt, you sort of know what to do next year and what not to do, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, we're just we're just super proud of the event, super proud of all the participants, and, uh, and we're just happy to be part of this great community. It's been a mainstay on the Bagnell Dam Strip since Mike Luby took it over in 1999. 
Now, after 17 years, Mike's decided to sell Luby's Plaza. To celebrate the sale, a few friends and other business owners on the Strip showed up to pay their respects. There was cake and ice cream on the Luby stage, and some parting words from another longtime business owner on the Strip. Thank you all for, for coming for this. Those, uh, say there's three kinds of people in the world. Uh, people that make things happen, and people that watch things happen, and people that wonder what the hell happened. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily for us, Mike and Peggy are the type of people that make things happen. Thank you, uh, yep. thank you very much. Sure. It's quite an honor to be here today. I have all you people here, you're making me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Spicer, Lake TV. Here's a safe boating tip from Bob's No Wake Zone. Captain Bob May. All boats create wakes when under power and underway. Knowing how your boat performs is very important. If your boat has a planing hull, then your best operating speed puts you on top of the water, not plowing through it with your bow up. Operate your boat at idle speed when entering any cove with docks and stay 100 feet away from docks or other boats. Remember to be courteous. Treat other boaters and property owners as you would want to be treated. And causing harm to another person or their property with an excessive boat wake may subject you to enforcement action or civil liability. For more information on boat wakes, visit the Missouri Water Patrol website or your nearest marina, like Bridgeport Marina. Thanks for your hospitality. Be sure to join me on Saturday mornings for Bob's No Wake Zone Boating Radio Show on News Talk KRMS. Until then, we'll see you out on the lake. Vacation rentals at the Lake of the Ozarks are a big part of what's called the sharing economy. It's a rapidly growing market, and for lawmakers, it is raising a lot of questions. This year, legislators work to define car sharing taxi services like Uber and online homestay marketplaces such as Airbnb. No laws about vacation rentals were passed in 2016, but next year, Missouri legislators hope to regulate online homestay rentals. State Representative Diane Franklin says she wants these new policies to reflect the community and is creating a local advisory committee. The group will focus on giving a local perspective for state-level policies. Missouri State Highway Patrol is trying to curb drunk driving by setting up sobriety checkpoints in Camden County this month. Local law enforcement agencies will also work with the patrol to make the checkpoints a success. At the stops, officers say they plan to talk with drivers, but they will work to keep the process as brief as possible. And if an officer suspects a driver to be under the influence, they'll be asked to take a field sobriety test. Last year, there were more than 50 alcohol-related traffic crashes in Camden County. Three people died, more than 30 were injured in those accidents. Some Missouri students have a new immunization requirement. Beginning this fall, students going into eighth grade must have one dose of the vaccine MCV. And many students entering 12th grade must have two doses depending on their vaccination history. The MCV vaccine protects against a bacterial infection of the bloodstream, brain, and spinal cord. Only about 1,000 Americans get the disease each year, but more than 10% will die from it. It can also lead to permanent brain damage and loss of hearing or even loss of limbs. The Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services says the, immu says the immunization is 85% effective in protecting against four of the five major strains responsible for the disease. The state does provide exemptions from the requirement if you meet certain medical or religious criteria. A call about a domestic disturbance led to a shootout between a suspect and officers back on May 31st. Police say the suspect opened fire on deputies when they arrived at a Gravoy Mills trailer park. The Morgan County Sheriff's Department says a man fired multiple shots at them and then fled inside a trailer as deputies returned fire. Trailer parks near Highway 5, law enforcement temporarily shut down the road during the encounter and deputies say a few rounds of tear gas brought the guy out and he was arrested. Two people are dead and one is seriously injured after authorities say a drunk driver caused a head-on collision on Highway 54. The accident happened near Walnut Grove Road in Eldon. The Highway Patrol says 62-year-old Carol Elwin was driving a 2012 Honda Ridgeline the wrong way on eastbound Highway 54 when she hit a Pontiac Grand Am driven by 17-year-old Dalton DeLong. 38-year-old Travis DeVolt and 12-year-old Dominic DeLong were declared dead at the scene early Saturday morning. Dalton DeLong was taken by ambulance to the University of Missouri Hospital in Columbia. Ellen was treated with moderate injuries at Lake Regional Hospital before being arrested and charged with several offenses including involuntary manslaughter and failure to register a motor vehicle. Authorities say a known drug trafficker who could be armed is on the run in Miller County. Mary's County Sheriff's Department says 47-year-old Vernon Phelps led deputies on a high-speed car chase till his car got stuck while crossing the Sugar Creek Bridge near Meta, Missouri. He took off on foot, hasn't been seen by law enforcement since June 1st, and anybody who sees Phelps or knows his whereabouts should contact law enforcement immediately and avoid making direct contact. 
Baxter's Lakeside Grill was recently honored by TripAdvisor with a Certificate of Excellence. The award celebrates hospitality business that earned great reviews consistently for a year. In case you want to check it out, they're located on Bagnell Dam Boulevard, right by the Community Bridge. Baxter's is a classic American restaurant that is well known for its lake view, steaks, and happy hour. That's this week's news update. I'm Margot Lane, and this has been your Lake of the Ozarks news update. Thanks for watching us on Como Connect Channel 90. Watch us anytime on MyLakeTV.com. And now, of course, we're back on Charter Channel 197. And remember to connect with us on Facebook and Twitter at MyLakeTV. And you can check out our Instagram page at HandleMy underscore Lake TV. And for before we go... Tell me. <laughs> Before we go, uh, next week, next Saturday is uh, uh, Get Back to Nature Day, National Get Back to Nature Day. And so I'm recommending that everybody go down to Haha ha Tonka State Park. They're going to have the very first kayak meetup of the season down there. It's sponsored by the Lake Ozark Watershed Alliance. Uh, they're going to provide the paddle, the kayak, the uh, life preserver, and all you have to do is provide the paddle power. And it's all free. It starts about 9 o'clock in the morning. Going to be there? You said ha ha tonka, I'm in. <laughs> and we'll see you next week.